dear brothers and sisters today it is an honor for me to be speaking again after a long time being here with such honorable people is a great moment in my life first of all thank you to god for whom we all are equal and thank you to every person who has prayed for my fast recovery and a new life they continue to inspire me dear brothers and sisters do remember one thing malala day is not my day today is the day of every woman every boy and every girl who has raised their voice for their rights there are hundreds of human right activists who are not only speaking for human rights but who are struggling to achieve their goals of education peace and equality thousands of people have been killed by the terrorist and millions have been injured i am just one of them so here i stand one girl among many i speak not for myself but for all girls and boys i raise up my voice not so that i can shout but so that those without a voice can be heard those who have fought for their rights dear brothers and sisters on 9th of october 2012 the taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead they shot my friends too they thought that the bullets would silence us but they failed and out of that silence came thousands of voices the terrorists thought that they would change our aims and stop our ambitions but nothing changed in my life except this weakness fear and hopelessness died strength power and courage was born i am the same malala my ambitions are the same my hopes are the same my dreams are the same dear brothers and sisters i am not against anyone neither am i here to speak in terms of personal revenge i am here to speak for the right of education of every child i want education for our sons and daughters dear sisters and brothers we realize the importance of light when we see the darkness we realize the importance of voice when we are silenced and in the same way we realized in the the importance of books and pens when we saw the guns the wise saying the pen is mightier than sword was true they were afraid of pens and books the power of education frightens them they were afraid of women the power of voice of women frightens them it is not only, only not only a child's right to get education rather is their duty and responsibility dear sisters and brothers today i am focusing on women's right and girls education because they are suffering the most there was a time when women social activist asked men to stand up for their rights but this time we will do it ourselves i am not telling men to step away from st- speaking for women's right rather i am focusing on women to be independent to fight for themselves dear brothers and sisters now it's time to speak up we call upon our sisters around the world to be brave to embrace the strength within themselves and to realize their full potential one child one teacher one pen and one book can change the world education is the only solution education first thank you